I'm building a custom motorcycle. This guy here behind me. And so one of the things on my project to-do list is the wiring on this bike. Now I started with a complete motorcycle, but during the customization process, I'm gonna be moving components, electrical components, all over the place. The ignition switch is gonna be in a different spot, etc. And so, to me, the easiest thing to do is not use the stock wiring harness, the one it originally came with, but to just run new wires. I'm gonna move my ignition switch and other components to where I want them to be, and then I'll run new wires to them from there. And so an important aspect of this job is knowing what gauge the wires are. How thick are they? What's the diameter of the actual wire? Which is important for proper electrical system operation. And yes, you could go through and calculate all this stuff out and there is a way to do that. But to me, the simplest thing is because I have an original wiring harness and I'm using all the same components for the most part, the wire diameter requirements, the same. I'm just gonna look at the old wiring harness, look at the wires on there, but the wires themselves don't actually, it's not written on them what gauge they are, so I have to determine what the gauge is. And I've discovered a neat way of doing that. So there's two different methodologies here that I'll show you and then I will probably be using on my project. So the first one, you've got a wire. This is an example of a wire and it's got, it's a coated wire, it's an insulated wire. And you can see the little copper part right there. And so in order to figure out what gauge that is, you can take some micrometers or calipers here and measure the copper portion of the wire. I come up with about 65 thousandths. And then, all right, so now you've got a measurement for the 65 thousandths, but wire comes in gauges. You order in a gauge, like 18 gauge, 16 gauge, 10 gauge, etc. There's a whole range of gauges that you order. So in order to know what gauge you need, there's a conversion chart, and I'll link to an example of one in the description of this video below. And here's methodology number two. So in this example, you don't use or don't have micrometers, right? You do have some electrician's pliers here. And these guys conveniently have little cutters on here for taking the insulation off of the wire. And those cutters also conveniently tell you what gauge wires you're cutting. So another way of doing this is if you have existing wires, go on here and you could start at one of the bigger ones and go, oh, that one doesn't work. Go down, that one cuts into the insulation, but it doesn't fully cut through the insulation so you can't pull it off. You should be able to just pull this off as you'll see here. You keep going down, that one pulls it off, that was 14 gauge. And then we can see, you can see how the wire itself slides into there. It doesn't go into the one below it, which is 16 gauge. So this is a 14 gauge wire. And if we look at our conversion chart from when we did this, we also come up with the same number, 14 gauge wire. So those are two ways of telling what you have in terms of wire gauge. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of this build. Jump on the build for the motorcycle builds. We should have more in the future. We might even have some truck and car builds coming up as well. If you enjoy that sort of stuff, please subscribe to the channel. And if not, well, at least enjoy your wiring. Thanks for watching.